Bitcoin is starting to dump ever so slightly and potentially is about to be filling up that CME gap I have talked about for the last couple days here. And on this video, I'm going to be discussing the most important support lines which are currently trading below us. And also, I'm going to be discussing the most important support and resistance charts, my expectation, what is going to be happening next for Bitcoin. I pointed this out in the previous videos. And I will be, of course, go a little bit more in depth on how I exactly set up my orders because I have currently set up over 1.5 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin buy orders. So I'm going to talk about this and many more important charts on today's update video. So without any further ado, don't forget to slap that like button back above 1000 likes. That will be highly appreciated. And with that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. So here, first of all, in the imminent short term, we do know that over the course of last weekend, and we created a CME futures gap. Then on the Monday, we saw an ever so slight pump higher. And now we are starting to come down again here and potentially are going to start filling up that CME gap. I mean, we already went as low as 60,500 and the CME open price is sitting around 60,000 US dollars. So we were about to be filling it up here. And like you can see that already over the course of the last couple of days here, we have actually started to see that Bitcoin is coming down again here. And if I'm just purely going to be looking at this chart right now for Bitcoin, I already pointed out that this was the most important level to be breaking above of. And clearly we can see that we currently have not broken above this level. Currently, Bitcoin is actually starting to create another rapid decreasement in valuation. And honestly, we are right now hanging on a very important level of support because this level has been previously ran, providing a lot of support for Bitcoin, also provided resistance. So if we really cannot hold this level right now, and if we really break below this level right now, we are going to be in big trouble for Bitcoin. So yes, I'm going to be closely looking at this level. Also, of course, on the time timeframe, we're creating a slight little uptrend right here, and we actually bounced from this level last time around as well. So hopefully we can be bouncing from off this exact level this time around as well for Bitcoin. So currently we can clearly still see we're trading in an upward sloping trend here on the imminent short term, but on the larger perspective, we're trading on the larger scale downtrend. And since we have not broken above the previous range high in the market, which I pointed out many times before, I believe that we're still in this bearish bias consolidation phase and in this bearish bias trend overall. And there is still going to be a very likely scenario. And that is a scenario that is unfortunately right now the most favorable scenario. But yeah, due to the fact that I am expecting that Bitcoin is actually creating another lower low here in this market, I am trying to be trading this because since the fact I am extremely exposed to crypto, I've got a very big spot position. I right now want to be anticipating the fact that if we are going to see a slight little drop here, I want to be buying the maximum. So I have already set up all my levels where I am interested in buying Bitcoin. You can see right here on the top left side of my screen that I set up over 1.5 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin buy orders sitting and ranging between 56,000 US dollars all the way up to 57,000 US dollars, which is of course also that zone where the previous liquidity was laying in the market. So yeah, that is what I'm currently going to be doing if Bitcoin is going to come any lower. And if it were to be coming towards this level right here, I'm going to be opening up an approximately 1.5 million US dollar Bitcoin long position. And guys, if you want to be trading yourself, you can do so as well. You can join me with this trade, whatever you want to be doing. But this is just personally what I am doing. Please make sure to do your own research if you're going to be trading. I am not a financial advisor, but if you are interested in trading yourself, you can currently get an insane free 500 US dollar position. And all you need to do for that is go to the link description of today's video, sign up an account using this link below, and you can claim that free 500 US dollar trade on Bybit. And on top of that, you could get a deposit bonus worth up to $30,000. So if you're interested in trading and you've been waiting for a good opportunity, maybe this is your opportunity. And also make sure to claim that free trade because you're just going to be having some extra value by signing up an account using that link below. So yes, I am getting ready. I am preparing myself for the trade. Why this level? I think there are two very important levels in this entire region and that is of course going to be 57,000 US dollars to 56,000 dollars because that is where the previous liquidity is met in the market 
And if we then break below that level, the next big support is going to be 50 to 52,000 US dollars, which is, of course, that previous big level of, uh, yeah, resistance. And yeah, really, once we broke above that level, we saw that big continuation higher. So those are the two important levels I'm paying attention towards. And of course, if Bitcoin clearly goes even lower than that 56,000 US dollar level, I'm going to be accumulating even more Bitcoin around that 52 to 50,000 US dollar level. So this is currently my game plan. This is currently my strategy. This is what I am doing. And Honestly, guys, if history is an indication, uh, we're most likely going to be seeing it repeating itself. Because, yes, if we're going to be looking at every single time once the month of June was negative, always July has been an extremely positive month here. So history is repeating for Bitcoin. And I do want to be pointing it out. We could be in for an extremely bullish, bullish month of July. And yeah, we're just at the starting point of July. It's the 3rd of July. Uh, so the most gains are still most likely yet to be realized. So also, if I'm looking at the spot Bitcoin ETF, yesterday we had a great day on inflows. Today, it was actually quite bad. We saw some outflows on GBTC which is not necessarily all too bearish in my opinion. In total, 13.7 million US dollars flew out the spot Bitcoin ETFs yesterday. Then still looking at the funding rates, they are actually quite neutral, which is not necessarily bearish, it's not necessarily good. It's just neutral uh, because that is basically what the funding rates is currently reflecting us. And yeah, still the reason why I'm also wanting to be opening up a Bitcoin long position is that the majority of the liquidity is still laying above us and Bitcoin always follows the liquidity. And yeah, you can clearly see it right now. And there's an about 10 to uh, 12 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin short liquidations laying around 72 to 73,000 US dollars. And if we're going to be hitting that level, we're going to be seeing a massive, massive short squeeze. And since there's so much liquidity laying over there, I think it's going to be inevitable that Bitcoin is ultimately going to be taking it out. So yes, also here on the uh, three day time frame, we're creating this massive ascending triangle pattern. And yes, you can see also right now on Bitcoin, we're just in a multi week, multi month consolidation. You can see that right now we've been going sideways for over 130 days almost. And yeah, the longer this consolidation is going to be lasting, the more explosive the breakout is going to be. Just like we had back in 2020, we saw multiple months of consolidation before that big bull market really got started. So yes, it is extremely boring, boring right now. But if we're looking at the S&P 500, we can see that the S&P 500 is pushing up the new optimize consistently. And usually once the S&P 500 is pushing up higher and Bitcoin is not really doing anything, it usually tends to be catching up afterwards. So yeah, it is looking very promising in my opinion. The stock market is going to new optimize, which means that there is more money available for things to go much higher in value. And that is also for Bitcoin the case. Due to the fact there's going to be more money in circulation and more money... Uh, available worldwide their opportunity for bitcoin to go even higher is even bigger so things are looking great things are looking good and i am super excited about it but uh yeah this is it for me in today's of the video guys i truly hope i gave you some more insights on what i'm doing with my trade and if you did learn something from it don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye